it, it's probably something that hasn't changed much over 25 years, actually, which is still this capture on the ground when incidents happen. Particularly near misses, actually. That's probably the best example now. Our injury reporting has got much better. But being able to capture things and get it into a system or platform, whatever that be, it's still that on the ground, heat of the moment, battle with operations that incident reporting takes a time. Once we've got it into a platform, actually, it's relatively easy then. It's still that front end intervention, manual, what's going on, get it visible mm-hmm. off the ground into a platform. There's no golden bullet for that mm-hmm. in my eyes. And I think it's also, especially when it comes to near misses, the, still the perception, nothing happened, why we yeah, should sure. report yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially when it comes from experienced people, you know, people don't, don't nobody likes to admit their, their mistakes or, or, or shortcomings. So it's, it's sometimes better to say, you know, it didn't happen. It was just a minor. Mm-hmm. We should, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. So for our office-based <clears throat> personnel and support roles, mm-hmm. Safety is less of a concern because they're in a safe environment. They're much more interested in health and well-being. Yes, uh, the yes. whole discussions we're having now mm-hmm. about well, mental yeah. health and about how mm-hmm. we support the individuals through the challenges yeah. that they're, they're facing every day in life. Um, and then for our personnel who conduct high-risk activity, that still mm-hmm. remains a significant area for them. So I think tailoring that message we found helped us get really a good conversations going rather than as we would traditionally do in safety, have you know a set of kind of standard processes and say everyone needs to, to comply with them. Mm. For us, I would say it's, it's about how to cascade the message really in the organization mm. and make sure that people not only had a look at it, but also understand yeah. what, what's going on. Mm. And, and we have many, many messages we would like to send out and that's what <laughs> we are doing. And I think there we also need to prioritize. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so not try to cover and, and to, to improve the world in one shot, but really make one, two, three. And that's what we will focus on for the mm-hmm. next half mm-hmm. year, for instance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What helped us in ABB was this creation of the safety week. Then it became yeah. a health and safety week. Yeah. Yeah. We had some materials we prepared from like a corporate perspective, but actually the whole preparation of the activities and work was done by mm-hmm. the local people yeah. or at yeah. the site. Yeah. We talk about the barriers or... I think is also how to yeah. overcome the barriers. And this this engagement with the employees during that week once a year was uh, was uh, is quite effective. It's great to have transparency and visibility. If we're going to ask them to do more transparency and visibility, we have to do something with that data. Yeah. 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 And that's the biggest challenge yeah. from yeah. my yeah. experience. Yeah. If we can't go back to them mm, sure. with something, yeah. mm. then, you know, honestly, why should they report? Because they've invested time for yeah. you, but if we don't put the mechanism in place yeah. of how are we going to deal with all that data, even if it's going back saying, hey, guys, yeah. we can't do anything with yeah. it. Yeah. I think we still work very hard to get the safety message on the main page, as it were. But the challenge is, is safety really being seen as a business benefit. Yeah. It can be really hard work from us because we're really passionate about it, mm-hmm. but it needs to be someone who's passionate right at the top. Yeah. Yeah. Then it makes all the layers yeah. Yeah. much, much easier, yeah. I believe. Yeah.